What's up everyone? Welcome back to Ford Adventures. It's Hong once again and in today's video we will be going through the complete build of my storage slash sleeping uh, solution that uh, I've been working on for some time. In the previous video we left off with some unfinished business, some unfinished projects and uh, some unpainted panels. But since then everything is complete and I thought I'd just do a quick video of uh, where we are so let's uh, dive in as you can see here this is my uh, powered cooler by Domenic and this just slides out I have everything unlocked so it's just easier to demonstrate but this just slides out like this and I can just reach in uh, to the cooler to grab things when I need so it's uh actually what let's see the temperature it is set to it's actually nine degrees but it's uh, it's actually going down so because i just turned it on but i do have it set to let's see what we have it set to i have it set to uh minus one so uh should uh, should go down pretty quickly uh, that is the fridge let me just actually get out of this here all right there we go so yep yeah, that just uh slides in oh this one starts locked so it slides in like that and then just push it in and it's uh, locked in place so it can't really slide out. Over here we have the pantry and this is uh, this just slides out like this. Um, you guys pretty much seen it from the previous video. And on top I do have my cutting board which also slides out and can uh, be moved around camp if needed like that this is the top of it and this just slides in through these two channels here um, right now I am just do this with one hand waiting for a couple magnets to arrive to just have this secured on the side here so it doesn't slide back and forth when I drive but other than that this is pretty much done and let's see if we can do this with one hand yes this goes in so that's like locked in can't move and uh, the only thing that's moving is this which i just have to get the magnets to uh, lock it in place so over here we have my tailgate which was a work in progress from the last video as you can see it's completed and this is how it looks um this is a stainless steel i just have to uh, clean it up it's just a little little uh, dirty and on top of here i do have a magnetic strip for putting knives scissors or, or whatever i need or any other utensils that uh, will uh, stick to the magnet and over here we we'll have a couple of uh, well three uh, magnetic hooks that i can just attach utensils as well or you know towels and all that on the side here, I have uh, little hooks for bags or for garbage. So that's uh, that's that. I'm pretty happy with this. This is a lot better than the one I had previously, which fell apart. <laughs> but uh, this is good to go. Um, I might add a maybe a light somewhere here if I could, and I might add um, a soft drink or a drink holder on both sides here. Uh, I think there's enough space where you know you can have it fold out you know those uh, drink holders so I might do that I'm not sure so what keeps this uh, tailgate in place is just this little latch on a piano hinge down here and it just it just goes over there's actually a piece of rubber uh, rubber tape on there which just holds it so it just holds it in place and it doesn't move um, this doesn't move at all give me one second I just need to replace the battery I'm just running out of <laughs> running out of juice okay we are back with some fresh batteries and let's continue on with the walkthrough right in front of me right here is the TerraFlex shelf unit that I uh, quickly went over in the previous video um, I had to do some modifications to this to actually make it fit or actually to make it slide out I had to make a, a cut off about an inch and a half uh, here and in and inside 
so actually so it can actually slide out and not hit uh, the uh, the struts so as you can see here it's just sitting here and now I just have to pull it out and then it just locks in place so you know it's like that and as you can see I do have a few things on the shelf here I have my uh, tent uh, my climbing rope and my sleeping bag or well, one of uh, one of two sleeping bags that I have so yeah it's a pretty good uh, solution I think um, and again it's 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 really just for light things because uh, it's not it's just sitting on uh, a piece of aluminum on the side here and attached to a steel bracket that comes with it so it's it's a little flimsy and it does make no some noises when I drive uh, let me just uh, lock this so I can just slide this back in like that. over here we have my towel dispenser um, I couldn't think of any other place to put it so I just you know I just slapped it onto the this plastic cover covering uh, the windshield motor and it's just sitting like that and I think it's a pretty good spot uh, the only downside it does get in the way um, if you have uh, large items uh, on top of this shelf so you know if I move this here and uh, close it it uh, just it's perfect uh, the towel is soft enough uh, to actually go go over it sometimes or just you know just don't put anything there but yeah it works uh, great uh, in this location next thing on the agenda is this light bar that you see right on the edge of the back windshield here now this uh, is uh, t attached or actually it's uh, hooked up to my fuse box down below over here and then I do have a switch for it here that actually turns it on and off like that so it's right here uh, unfortunately this is not a multicolor uh, LED I uh, wish it was and uh, it's just uh, just a cool white uh, color but yeah that's uh, that it comes in handy when uh, we're out out and about and you just hang out with your friends you can have the light on having your drinks you know having this you know your tailgate open so that is that and let's uh, move inside to uh, the Jeep and here we are we have my <laughs> sleeping platform um, this just sits on a frame that I built with the uh, aluminum extrusion that I had left over from my previous build but this is it um, this is uh, good for storing things on or you know again sleeping uh, if the weather is bad I can just jump in here and uh, just sleep on top of this like I mentioned earlier this is sitting on a, a platform a frame that I built let me just put this down as you can see this is the frame that uh, the platform is sitting on it's pretty simple um, originally I had a whole, uh, a whole frame or a bunch of legs that actually ex extended out over here and then there was like another platform or platform sitting down here which it just kind of just hooks onto but uh, this works fine it doesn't uh, really move as much once I have the seat uh, pushed in this is pretty much locked in place and it doesn't move um, yeah as you can see here is my uh, fuse box which I have easy access to if anything goes wrong so that is that let me just uh, put this back down this is quite heavy um, I just have a few things uh, to add on to this at the bottom so it just actually sits snugly it doesn't move back move, uh, sideways so I need to just do that um, let's see what we got left oh the panel here is uh, complete and powered just have to hit the power button and this comes up and then you know have my voltmeter uh, socket 
and you know two high high amp USB right there and then this is actually just to run into a diffuse panel right here so it's fused here it's fused here and then the 10 gauge wire is also fused going to the battery so I think I am okay <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> that uh, my electrical uh, wiring is good so I'm just gonna turn this off and let's see the last thing I have in here is uh, another LED strip on top attached to uh, the, the liner um, I just have it uh, on a bunch of velcro so it just sticks easier and this is also powered by a switch right on the side here I don't know if you can see it but if I just do that and then this is a powered on I have it facing towards the back so if I'm actually sleeping on this platform it doesn't really get in my eyes but again this is white uh, I wish it was a uh, different color I guess I get I can switch it out it's not that hard to uh, remove the strip but I don't want to spend any more money <laughs> so yeah that's that and look at that again you know, there's a switch right here I just click and it turns off like that that is pretty much it for the walkthrough let me just go to back again and uh, talk about uh, upcoming projects I guess um, as you can see here on the side right here originally this was just dead space and I thought I, I needed to use up the space not waste it I thought about getting a roto pack uh, that I could slide in but it didn't really uh, fit the dimensions All right. this was actually part of my drawer system I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this and put it on the side here. I have it on a piece of aluminum T shape, which is actually bolted in this way, then this way, and into uh, this frame right here. So what I'm going to do is actually going to cut this out right here and add a molly panel, which is uh, on its way. And then I can actually attach uh, molly bags or anything to it. Uh, for you know smaller items such as matches, um, knives, and whatnot, what, whatever we need for camp. And as you can see, it's not finished. I still, you know, I just had to do had to fill up some holes and all that. But once the uh, once that arrives, and I can actually begin work on this, clear this all up, and that will be it for this. It's pretty sturdy. Um, it doesn't move when I drive, so I might add a strap going around the, uh, the cooler to the back so it just actually keeps it in place but uh, that is my next project that I'm working on and let's see let me just push this back in here so my next major project that I kind of just started to dwell on is getting a water storage solution Currently, I'm just using uh, large water containers, and uh, you know that can only do so much, right? And I don't want to fill my cooler with uh, plastic water bottles, so I've been, you know, it's been searching in the internet, and I thought uh, about getting a large container to go under the Jeep. Now, I do have a spot right here. Uh, Let's see if you can see it so this spot right here I got rid of my muffler so this is just uh, empty right now and I think I can get a really good you know container right here for water obviously it's gonna require some work a lot of work to get it up and you know I might have to fabricate something to actually protect the cont water container and then uh, pipe it through uh, to the interior and then have some kind of filtration uh, built into it so looking into that um, if you guys have any ideas or you know a solution that someone has already done similar to that you know leave it in the comment would like to to uh, take a look and now uh, not reinvent the wheel <laughs> again 
and uh, quickly get this done. But yeah, so 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 far I'm just just using water containers, and it's kind of kind of annoying. So you know, just hearing the water slosh back and forth and all that. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for my you know storage slash sleeping platform build. Um, hopefully that you know gives you guys some ideas of what you can do to your storage slash sleeping platform. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.